with another video for you. And today's video is a movie review for you. And what movie am I reviewing? Get Out. By Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele's Get Out. Now, before I get into this review, as you know, there are spoilers in your boy Hard Gamers reviews all day, every day. So if you haven't seen the movie, which came out in 2017, stop this video, go watch the movie, come back, click it, and let me know what y'all think. Now, with those disclaimers out of the way, everything beyond this point is on you. So, with all that being said, let's get into the review. What does your boy Hard Gamer think about Jordan Peele's Get Out? I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was well done. I thought he touched on a lot of subjects, which I'll get into that here in a couple minutes. He had comedy, which, you know, his background is in comedy. So for him to be able to put that into a horror movie and make it work, beautiful. Um, I thought the concept of, you know, hypnotizing people to sedate them was pretty cool. I like how they did the whole thing with the glass. So anyway, this movie starts off this guy, he's walking down this suburban area and he gets abducted. And um, that's pretty much it, he gets abducted, cars following him, he's talking to his girlfriend and he's in a, a neighborhood he doesn't know. So he kind of flips out and you know, kind of not like flip out, but he kind of like silently freaks out. And then this car like comes up to him and he's like, nope, not today, not today, not today. And it turns around, walks the other way car stops opens the door and then you hear music and he looks back doors open somebody comes from behind him and chokes the shit out and knocks him out and then we fast forward to the main character who's waking up out of his restful slumber getting ready to i guess go meet his girlfriend's parents and she's out and about you know getting breakfast yada yada sorry if there's noise in the background my steps on his girlfriend fighting Tell you, you can't get a quiet place around here. Um, anyway, um, so they're getting ready to go visit this girl's um, parents for the weekend, uh, and he's all nervous because he's black and she's white, and that's a big thing, you know, in this movie. See, this movie <laughs> has a very racial undertone, which is it is what it is, you know. I'm the kind of person, I'm just going to throw it out there now, okay, I'm not racist, okay, um, this movie could have been just as good without the racial undertone, um, I think mainly having it about black and white, uh, I think the, the race, the race in it is, I mean, it is what it is, I know society today is, um, making a big deal about race, and racism, and I know this director was kind of pointing that out, but the movie would have been good without it. That's just my opinion. Um, sorry, the dog's barking. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, didn't need the racial thing. It is what it is. Um, you're just given you're just given society power. Um, I hate racism. I you know I hate how we as a society is glorifying racism nowadays and homophobism and all that other shit but that's another video for another time let's get back into the review so they really use a lot of racism in this movie how the black um the black culture is genetically better and um so what they do is they take these people and um well, anyway, I'm, I'm jumping too far ahead. So they go, they visit the uh, parents, and the parents seem like your normal, wholesome family, you know. The mom seems a little bit off. The dad is doing everything he can to impress, you know, Chris, which is the uh, main character, the black guy. Um, and then throughout the movie, just something isn't right. You meet their butler or their groundskeepers, and they're made, and they just seem off, you know, they just seem like not fully with it. So, as the story goes on, 
um, Chris ends up getting hypnotized by um, his girlfriend's mom, and that's where everything fucking begins, where uh, you start finding out the secrets of the family, how they have this process where they get black people and they bring them up to this their home and they kind of like silent auction them off to white people with like genetic disorders or physical disabilities and you know they sell them to the highest bidder basically and then what they do they use the they use the um, the uh, the hypnotism to sedate them so all you have to do is you uh, officially hypnotize them in the beginning initially hypnotize them and then throughout the movie all it takes is the the trigger basically for them to fall into what they call the nothing which is like a black hole where your life looks like a tv screen and you just can't reach it you know you're conscious you see what's going on but it's almost like you're seeing it from a tv screen can't hear nothing well you can hear everything you can see everything but you can't be heard your subconscious is sinking low and I love that concept that he's fully there mentally he's there but he's not there like he sees everything that's going on but he can't control the body he can't move and then what they do is they take these people who have been bought and they switch I guess their brain stem or whatever and their subconscious and so they put the white person who has the disability subconscious into the black person. And they get to live their lives to the black person. And they think that, you know, they're genetically upscaled and better. So they live better, happier lives. So you find out the family's a fucking whack job. The girlfriend, her job is to basically recruit these black men and they sell them. And, um... Chris's friend in it is the guy from the movie um, Uncle Drew, the, the main character, the little guy. He's hilarious. Um, he was funny in that movie. He did a damn good job. Um, but all in all, I thought Get Out was a very well done movie. It was fun. It was funny. The concept was amazing. I especially like the scenes where he was hypnotized and he falls into the nothing. At those scenes were just crazy how they portrayed that and they showed that on screen that was just nuts but like I said for me it would have been just as good without the racism the racist tendencies and everything so it is what it is you know like I said they're filmmakers they're artists they know what they're doing he took a topic that is very much alive unfortunately in our society with racism and he used that as a tool to kind of like get his point across so I appreciate good filmmaking um anyway check it out I'm not going to give you everything sorry about the fucking dog I don't know what they're doing but um check it out I give it 8 out of 10. Not the perfect movie, but it was still a good movie. Like, I really enjoyed it. It's something I'll probably watch again. Now, I had put on Twitter that I was going to be doing um, Us. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do Us right away because my girlfriend wants to see it too. So, can't watch it without her. So, that review might be coming later. Um, but I am watching a movie that I'm probably going to do a review later this week called Slice. It's about a ghost and a werewolf. It has uh, the Zazie Beats in it. It has Chance the Rapper. It has a few other people. Um, Hannibal Rex. So that's going to be fun. That's something I'm going to. I'm actually in the process of watching now, so I can get the review out to you later. But like I said, get out. Eight out of ten. Good movie good concept, kept me on the edge of my seat most of the time, um, very um, well done, Jordan Peele, kudos on your filmmaking bro, good stuff, I'm excited to, I'm excited to see us, 
Yeah, I'm super duper excited to see the new Candyman that you're making. After seeing Get Out, I know you're gonna do Candyman justice, my friend. Good shit, good shit. All right, hard work. With all that being said, this has been your boy Hard Gamer saying, as always, I love you guys. Sorry about all the disruption. But anyway, don't fear the darkness. Embrace it. <laughs>